Hi, Cindy. Chloe's crying downstairs, so I'm just going to go through a couple of things today. Um, all right. Uh, I hope uh, you join and Sarah and Chris have a good time with this video. <laughs> I wrote a couple of things here because I'm going to forget. Okay, so today is um, March 22nd, uh, 2019. It's the 15, 6, 7, 8, 9, 21. Yeah, uh, March 22nd, 2019. Okay, yesterday I left off with uh, uh, a girl blocking my way on my, my uh, blocking me on my way home. And um, I'll just repeat that. I don't know how far I went into it. So every day coming home, the girl would stand there at that corner and block me. She was very tall and fat. And I was very tiny for my age and skinny, skinny, skinny. Um, and uh, so I had to go back, go across the street, go all the way around, even though my house was across the street. <laughs> my dad saw me doing this that day. Uh, and he said, uh, why are you doing that? Why are you going all the way around? Why didn't you just come down this, you know, sidewalk? And I said, because there's that fat girl that blocks my way. She stands right there in that corner. And the sidewalks uh, in that apartment building were uh, like four or five feet drop to rocks because we didn't have uh, cement or anything in those days. Um, there, there were just rocks. So um, I didn't want to jump or anything, so I, I had to go back. So my dad said, no, okay, you have to stop doing that. I want to teach you to be strong, even though you might lose your battle, because <laughs> that girl looks pretty big. You have to try. You can't do that. You can't let her, you can't let her have that power over you that every day she probably laughs and laughs because she's making you do that. So I want you to, next time she blocks you, start running towards her as fast as you can run towards her because she's so heavy it's going to require a lot of power for you to push her off the sidewalk so i was scared of course who wouldn't be you know i was little so i was going home and my heart was ugh. i go like oh no it's gonna happen again so um i saw her and i remembered my dad's words and I started running towards her um, and I pushed her off the sidewalk. She fell like four or five feet, it was down. And um, I think he screamed and started crying and whatever, I didn't you know, stop for anything, I kept going. I went home and I told my dad that afternoon, that evening what I had done, that I had followed his advice and he said, all right, so now let's see if it works. Let's see what happens tomorrow. You take the same route. But this time, be, on, be alert, very alert. Uh, as you're passing doors and as you're making that left turn right in that corner, she could be around the corner because she knows you're going to push her. So I was very cautious and everything, and I went home that same route, and I looked around, and um, she wasn't there. She was never, ever there. Uh, so I, I don't know if she, she didn't go to school or something. Maybe there was something mentally wrong with her. Uh, but she was, t I was tiny, tiny, like I said, in elementary. She was a big girl and she was fat. Uh, I was surprised that I was able to do that. So she never bothered me again. We had uh, two houses from ours were a set of twins that were really bad too. Um, sometimes it would make me run because it was two of them. <laughs> and next door, Richie was a little boy that was a devil. <laughs> it's a total devil. Uh, every time I passed that sidewalk, it was on the right side of the house, I would be on the lookout for him and I would run if I see him out because he was, he was gorgeous looking. Cute little kid, but he was tinier than me. That actually was half my size, but he was bad. He was really, really bad, so I was afraid of him. Um, but aside from that, you know, as I grew older, 
like it, I'm going to jump a little. I couldn't. By the time I got to high school and whatever, I was not afraid of anybody. I don't care how what how small I was. I was five two. You know that I'm shrinking. I was like five four, and then I I went back to five three, five two, five one. You know, I mean, you sort of shrink and get smaller uh, the older you are, and. I'll be 81 next month, so I'm surprised I'm as tall as I am right now. <laughs> That's a lot of years of shrinking, let me tell you. You start doing that around your 50s or 60s, something, after 60, I think. What else happened? So we, oh, oh, in, and in that house where we lived, I don't know if I'm gonna say this right because I haven't written it down or anything. Um, I love to play in, in that house. There were, there were like two houses attached to each other. Not two, not duplexes or anything, but. Um, and so uh, in the middle was, in the middle of the houses was an area that was like a, a square like this. And I would go there and stand there. And when it was very windy, things got trapped in that little area, in that little square. And it formed a little, tiny little twister you know and it went up like that and I could see the leaves and everything just going up and all that so I got curious about that I go like I wonder if it can lift me so like I said I was skinny 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 my hair was down to my waist and I had bangs and um, if I would wear a little dress you know I mean it was like uh, an umbrella or a parachute or something you know it gives you it can pull you up. So I would stand there when it got, would get really, really windy. I would run, 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 run to that area. And I could see the dirt and everything in you know, a little twisters like that. And I would stand there and um, jump up and pedal my feet. Jump up and pedal my feet. And then I realized that my hair would go up like this. And my dress and my hair, and it was so skinny. And uh, I put my and I would pedal like this, and uh, and I noticed that I could pedal quite a bit off the ground, and off the ground, and I would do this pedal, 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 pedal <laughs> off the ground, and then I touch, and then I jump up and pedal, 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 pedal. so I, that was my favorite pastime, uh, especially when I would go outside and it was windy, 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 and I was always up to no good because my mom would take naps. And I have never liked naps, never. So she would tell me to go outside and play with my little friends. Uh, there, there was another house behind us and the little boy, I don't remember his name. He would come over and play with me. We would swing and everything. We had a little swing. But uh, sometimes when I was by myself, he, he was very fat, so he would have never been able to do it. Um, I, uh, one day, it was so windy that I thought like, woo, this is gonna be fun, I run, you know, and and I started doing my little thing and whatever, and I go and and then the, the wind got so strong that it poof, pulled me up. I looked down and I saw the roof of the house. And I, and I could see that it would lift up things and whatever and just up in the sky and take them like to the Gulf of Mexico or something. <laughs> That's where the wind in that direction it would go. So um, I got so scared that I was gonna, it was gonna pick me up and blow me away. You know, like hurricanes or when tornadoes and whatever, they pick, pick up trailers and stuff. So uh, I, I panicked, I didn't move my feet. I just left them motionless and my, I grabbed my hair like this and I made myself heavy and I touched ground and I ran like crazy. <laughs> I never told anybody I was doing this. I ran and I never, ever did that again. Now I'm thinking I could have tied a rope around me and secured myself so that I won't fly off because it was so much fun. Uh, the experience was just, wow, too bad people can't fly. It's just beautiful when you're suspended, you don't weigh anything, you know. 
Uh, so that was another experience I had in that house. And what else did I have in that house? Then, for whatever reason, I don't know why, we moved, um, oh, we moved because my dad didn't want my mom, there was a, an inside door in the living room between the two buildings, between the two uh, houses, and my, my dad didn't want my mom to have that door open because he didn't like the guy next door, the guy's uh, husband, the girl's husband. But the girl was very aggressive, and she would knock and knock and oh, my dad would put puts uh, some heavy piece of furniture there and lock the door uh, because he didn't want anybody coming in to the house, you know, through that door. So um, the lady was knocking and knocking and knocking, and I was there. Open the door, open the door, she was telling my mom after I had heard my dad tell her what he was concerned about. So my mom moved the heavy piece of furniture and let her in. Well, she didn't tell my dad, but I'm sure my dad, being a man, you know, very cautious guy, he always carried a gun and all that type of thing, you know. Um, I'm sure he noticed that, the, that it had been moved. He was no fool. <laughs> and so my mom had to tell him that she had moved it. Well, he was very upset. So shortly after that, we moved. Just uh, a few houses down across the street at the other corner. And so, wow, I really like that a little loud because to the left over there was another little Baptist church and I and I would go there and really, really have a good time. But still, uh, during that time, my mom was still, still insisting that I go to the Catholic church. And I'll make another one on that because it's, uh, like 13 minutes. Okay, Cindy, since you don't want me to make them so long, I'm going to cut this and then start another one. Okay.